Rachel, and today you might notice that this is a totally different background than what you might be used to. Well, I'm here to inform you that I've moved, um, and this is my new space for the next several months. Um, and this is where I will be filming a lot of my content, and I am sorry that I haven't been very consistent in doing that. But I am back, and today I want to share a piece of content that has been trending, going viral on TikTok, and yes, I've jumped on this train and I 100% fully support the trend of baked oats. You may have seen a lot of baked oats recipes on TikTok, Instagram Reels, Instagram in general. Let me just show a few of them here. Wow, well, I was entirely skeptical of the whole baked oats situation. So, yep, I can confirm that baked oats are indeed amazing. Let's make some baked chocolate oats. Start with one banana, half a cup of oats. I'm telling you, you guys have to make this. You're gonna love it. It seemed just like the trend of overnight oats, but kind of revised and revamped. So at first I was pretty skeptical, but then I realized blended baked oats was a little bit of a different thing. And it often looked like a chocolate chip mug cake or something you could just microwave real quick. And I was like, this seems easy, efficient, healthy, and delicious. So I decided to give it a try. I tried out several different recipes and I really honed in on a couple that I think tasted the best. So now I will be sharing with you my favorite ultimate TikTok baked oats recipe. Mine is kind of a banana bread chocolate chip type flavor and I think it's absolutely delicious. There are vegan versions of this but um, sadly mine is not vegan. And honestly it's the easiest process. Literally you have to chuck all the ingredients together in a blender or a food processor and just blend it all together. You'll need several ingredients but if you are a baker you'll tend to have these ingredients already. These things include, you know, a ripe banana, some oat milk, which is what I prefer to use, a little bit of vanilla extract or syrup, obviously oats, quick oats or rolled oats will work fine, a bit of maple syrup for sweetness, a bit of baking powder in order to allow the cake to rise. You'll also need an egg, some salt, and chocolate chips. And my special ingredient is a little bit of almond butter as well, since I absolutely love, love all nut butters, as you guys already know. So just blitz up all of those ingredients together until you see something smooth and creamy start to form. You definitely want those oats to kind of break down and be more like a flour, because essentially we're producing oat flour. Then my trick is to pour about half of the batter into the mug. Then I like to create a little well or center for myself of almond butter filling so it's nice and gooey in the middle when you dig in later. I also at this point like to sprinkle on some chocolate chips in order to make sure that there's an even distribution of chocolate chips all throughout my cake. Then I'll pour the rest of the batter on top and finish it off with some more chocolate chips. You'll pop that into the oven at 350 degrees. I've experimented with different times and I think the perfect sweet spot for me and my oven is about 23 minutes. You'll still get a gooey center, but not too gooey or runny. And you'll also get kind of like a cake-like texture on the outside edges. Once you dig into this, you will never be the same. Make sure you dig into it while it's hot and fresh. You can also drizzle it off with another layer of almond butter or peanut butter, whatever you have at home. But honestly, it tastes like a beautiful chocolate chip muffin cake um, with a gooey warm center. So almost like the cross between a gooey a warm chocolate chip cookie and a fresh chocolate chip cake. You seriously can't go wrong with this recipe and honestly there are so many different variations on TikTok and Instagram. I would highly recommend you give them a try and this is just my take on it and I have thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it. I'll leave all the measurements and the ingredients down below in the description, but let me know if you guys try it out. Definitely make sure to tag me if you make this recipe on Instagram. I love seeing all of your guys' creations. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.